So it is a disk block. Think of it as a portion of the B tree that is also stored on secondary storage. Now, again, you thought the data would be, so that, that's nothing new, but even some of the keys, again, if this is just a ginormous, ginormous data set that, geez, we got so many keys that frankly storing them on memory would hurt things too, so we're gonna store some of them in the secondary storage. So you end up having keys and the data in what's called disk blocks. And those disk blocks are set to a certain size because of, again, certain parameters of the physical layout of the server or whatnot. But they're going to start helping you figure things out when it comes to determining the size of your overall key set, which you have here, and then the set of data that you can put inside. So again, it's going to be determining M and L. So think of it this way with a disk block is that it's going to be housing sets of memory, keys or the data, one or the other. And again, we will calculate that in a moment to figure out what our size of M and L depending on the application. So hold tight on that. So you would also think of this question right here is that if you know you're going to be storing a decent amount of data in a disk block, you know that your disk block, if it's allocation size, the number of keys is going to be greater because remember, a key is just one piece of data. Compared to the actual whole set of data that's being in here, you're going to have a lot more keys that you're going to be able to store in a disk block compared to the number of pieces of data that you're going to be able to in another disk block. So complicated. Let me get to the exercise here in a moment. We'll go from there.